Hello guys, welcome back once again to another video of SpaceX updates. It's been a while since my last video, I have some exciting news to cover. Let's start with Starship Booster 7. We all have been waiting for this news. Earlier this morning, Booster 7 after the completion of installing all 33 engines, was rolled out of the Mega Bay and moved to the launch site. Booster 7 is now being ready to be lifted by chopstick arms onto the orbital launch mount. It's been two weeks since we saw the last static fire test at Starbase. For the last two weeks, crews have been seen working almost everywhere at the launch site, including the orbital launch mount, chopstick arms, and the gate. It's going to be a crucial test campaign for Booster 7. Apparently, Starship S-24 looks to be ready for the orbital test flight even though it still has to perform a full six-engine static fire test. At the moment, we don't see any significant issues with S-24. No swapping of engines and even the heat shield tiles issue appears to be fixed. Now the big question is on Booster 7. If all the static fire tests go normally as planned, yes, we may see a Starship orbital test flight launch in September according to Elon. But if anything goes wrong, forget about September or even October. Launching a Starship into orbit in 2022 will be a challenge for SpaceX. Elon himself said this on Twitter. Well, let's be optimistic about it. Let us hope for a launch in the next couple of months. Back at the production site, installation of side wall panels and roofing continues on the Star Factory. If we look at the ongoing progress at the SpaceX Roberts Road facility, we can see SpaceX working at some impressive speed. We see rapid construction of new structures and buildings. Chopstick arms for the new Starship Tower at Pad 39A appears to be almost completed. We may also see a new high bay rising at the site soon. At the launch pad, the seventh segment of the tower still awaits a lift. I don't exactly know the reason why they haven't stacked it yet. Maybe because of the wind. Normally, they roll out a new tower segment every Monday and stack it the next day. Relativity Space successfully conducted a full-duration 20-second static fire test of its Terran 1 first stage. The company shared a video showing all the nine Eon 1 engines fired up at once. This is a really incredible achievement for the whole team involved because the Terran 1 rocket is entirely 3D printed and the first of its kind. Relativity is planning to conduct its first test flight of Terran 1 rocket named Good Luck. Have fun mission this year without a payload on board. If Terran 1 can reach orbit on its first attempt, it will be a historic accomplishment for the company and one for the books. But let's not get carried away at this stage. Firing engines on the ground and reaching orbit is not the same thing. We all agree on the fact that space is hard. I wish them all the best. We are less than six days from NASA's Artemis 1 mission. The humans return to the moon mission. Artemis 1 already passed the flight readiness review. SLS is currently sitting at the launch pad with Orion spacecraft on top with dummy astronauts inside, waiting for liquid nitrogen and liquid oxygen to fill up its tanks for a journey to the moon. 